Dirt emerged when actually I went to Minnesota to teach for just a few years and I made an immediate connection with Garth Rockcastle, more a Rockcastle of 10 by 10s dad. And I have this thing about, you know, puns, you know, because I, you know, I don't want to take things too seriously. So when it came to naming two things, both my academic um, pursuits um, and then also pr opening the practice, I had dirt projects on the academic side, which stood for doing industrial research together. And then um, dirt uh, studio, the practice, um, dirt stands for dump it right there. Because I love to command. <laughs> dirt was not wholly a pun. It was a mission, it was an agenda that formed the practice and informed the practice from the get-go. You know, I was always adamant from the, you know, from the get-go of wanting to do the right thing, you know, by landscapes um, and being truthful and being curious, you know, just deeply curious. Um, and all, you know, the wonderful, very few uh, folks that worked at DIRT uh, brought the same thing. I mean, I, you know, I, you know, well, almost all of them were former students. So they knew my shtick, you know, and they gravitated towards me. And um, I just, you know, fueled that fire in them. And so they very readily became part of the Army. I always picture them as um, uh, wearing protective clothing <laughs> in order to uh, collaborate at DIRT. Um, so always from the get-go there was a mission and when even some projects would come in, uh, we would ask the question, you know, is it dirty? You know, and is the client willing to go there? You know, to, to take on, you know, a difficult thing. We used to say to come out of the closet and, you know, the industrial client, uh, closet. And um, I had the privilege by, you know, teaching at UVA, you know, to really pick and choose the projects. And so that the projects were, um, you know, very directed and, you know, involved, you know, a lot of research. Uh, in some cases, you know, not headed towards being built, but by um, um, having a mission uh, to, I guess, educate, you know. Um, I mean, I think once you're in academia, you're always a teacher. Um, and it was about uh, the clients knowing the implications of their decisions and the consequences of them. And a lot of times we would illustrate those, right? We're like, well, if you decide this, it's gonna look like this, you know, and really show them and guide them and really actually hope they do the right thing. You know, sometimes, sometimes they refuse to, you know, and I'm flashing to a project that I even won't name where um, I quit. I just, in a fax, that dates it. I just said, I'm sorry, I quit. <laughs>